When Jalewis Allman committed to Auburn back in August, South Carolina, they never gave up. Fast forward two months later, and that persistence has led to the coveted defensive back flipping his commitment to play now for Shane Beamer in the Gamecocks. Listed as a four-star athlete, Solomon is considered the consensus 10th rated athlete for the class of 2024. But as I mentioned, USC has been going after him to play defensive back, a position where he has shined at in high school. In the past two seasons, Solomon has recorded eight interceptions, 12 pass breakups, and 51 tackles. With his natural ability to make plays whenever the ball is in the air, he's also compiled over 140 receptions for nearly 2,200 yards and 23 offensive touchdowns prior to his senior year. What stands out about Solomon's tape is just how physical he plays cornerback. At six feet tall, 185 pounds, he plays bigger than he is. He's not afraid to come up and make a hard tackle. He uses his length and his arms to get off blocks on the perimeter, and he plays with speed. Solomon has been recruited by Torian Gray. Gray even traveled the Friday before USC played Mississippi State to watch Solomon play. That, of course, was all still when the DB was committed to Auburn. Aside from Auburn, he chooses South Carolina over schools, including Florida State, Florida, and Georgia. Back in June, he told Gamecock Central recruiting insider Wes Mitchell that one thing that really stood out to him was how much South Carolina made him feel like family. He specifically mentioned the efforts made by USC All-American defensive back Nick Eamon Worry, calling him, quote, probably the best host I could ever get. With Solomon's commitment, South Carolina has now landed 16 prospects for their 2024 class. Nine of those 16 are consensus four stars, plus five-star commit Dylan Stewart. Josiah Thompson, who is listed as a consensus four-star, was recently bumped up to a five-star grade by on three. For the latest on all your recruiting news, be sure to follow GamecockCentral.com. Till next time, I'm Mike Yuba.